We'll begin this hour in Kaduna State, where more than a thousand illegal immigrants have been arrested by operatives of the Nigerian Immigration Service. Most of them from neighboring ECOWAS countries got into through uh, porous borders and do not possess valid travel documents. TVC News correspondent Lupe Assam has details. These are illegal immigrants arrested from different locations in Kaduna State by men of the Immigration Service. Over a thousand of them who were apprehended have been paraded at the state headquarters. And last week, the immigration officers recovered over a thousand PVCs and other election documents, also seized from some foreigners. And this is the second time in two weeks that the service will make huge arrests since it began its special operations as headed by the controller, Liman Kila. You can see it physically. More than 1,000 arrests and more are still coming. We will not relent in their effort to get rid of this miscreant because the 2023 election is around the corner. We have to sanitize the system. A good number of these illegal immigrants don't speak or understand English. Je m'appelle Suleiman Abdelmoumin. Je parti de Niger. Je viens prendre pour Bénin, Malambil. None of these illegal immigrants have travel documents, neither do they have known sources of livelihood. The immigration authorities say their illegal stay in the country poses a huge security threat, especially at a time where the nation is approaching the 2023 general elections. From the records here and from the number of arrests here, 99% of them do not have the legal Viking to stay in Nigeria. They don't have the travel document to come in, probably they assess the country to rule the forest borders. And while they are here, they don't have a valid and solid means of livelihood, which in effect constitutes a security threat to the nation. Security authorities have blamed illegal immigrants for being perpetrators of some of the violence witnessed in some parts of the country. The Liman killer led immigration team has promised to intensify search operations till such persons are arrested and repatriated back to their countries. Lupe Asom, TVC News.